Hi everybody, Miss Bobby here from Marion County Boys and Girls Club and I wanted to hop on here and show you guys how you can use some tools at home to help during power hour or even homework time when you're at home. Some of those things are some dice from games, maybe a deck of cards, or even dominoes. You can use any of these tools maybe that you have at home. These are dice that maybe fell out of a game that I, we had at home. So I've collected them in case we needed dice. Um, deck of cards, it doesn't even have to be a complete deck of cards because you know sometimes once you open them, sometimes they get lost. And a set of dominoes. So if I can show you guys my desk, I'm gonna show you how we can use these tools to help learn math, which isn't my greatest subject, but maybe it's yours. What you see here is I have a few dice you can take two at a time and roll them and come up with a math problem. For example, two plus three, two times three, you can do two subtract three or two divided by three. The possibilities are endless. You can roll multiple dice together. Let's see what we got this time. A five, a four, a three, and a three. You can make a big number, like 54, or a small number by adding them together, like six. And you can make multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction. You can even add the five and the four together and make nine. And use the threes and make a six or make 33. Your combinations can be endless. And just like that, you can add three dice together or four to come up with a bigger number. Here we're using dominoes to come up with math problems. I chose four random dominoes from the pile. Two and two, five and three, three and two, six and one. Each one can be its own math problem. You can make them addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. You can even turn the dominoes sideways and make math problems this way. For example, six plus one. You can use a three and a two to come up with a new problem. Here I'm using a deck of cards you can decide if the face cards are going to be 10 or whatever number. Here you can put the cards together and try to come up with a random number. Adding them all together. You can pick two cards and add them together. For example, ace and six could be 16. What about coming up with a math problem that's 4 plus 9 plus 10? And then you could add 56. 8 plus 7. You could also choose to do your sight words. How many times are you going to write your words? 3? 10? So as you guys can see, things that you find around the house will help you with your sight words or even your math facts. 
So if you have some spare dice, maybe a deck of cards or even some mismatched cards and your dominoes, the possibilities are endless and you can learn from just about anything.